All right, guys, over the next few videos, we are going to learn yet another interesting and powerful concept, which is React context. In this video, we will understand what was the need for the context API. And in the next two videos, we will see how to make use of it and also understand some of the details when it comes to React context. All right, consider a React application that has lots of components. We have app component, which is the root component and nested within the app component at different levels are several other components. At the first level, we have components A, B and C. Nested within component B is component D and nested within component C is component E. And as it turns out, component F is nested inside component E. So we have three levels in total. The requirement in our application is that the components A, D and F are supposed to display the logged in username. That information is maintained as a property in the app component. So to be able to display the username in the nested components, we need to pass down the username as a prop. For component A, it is pretty straightforward. Directly pass it as props. For component D, however, we have the intermediate component B. So we have to pass down the username as a prop to component B and that in turn has to pass down the prop to component D. Now the scenario is somewhat similar for component F as well. The prop has to be passed through component C and then component E and then finally to component F. Now, even though components B, C and E do not need the prop, we still have to send the prop through them to be able to pass it to components further down in the tree. Imagine if the component were to be nested five or 10 levels deep. All the components in between would have to forward the prop. This especially becomes a problem for certain types of props such as language preference, UI theme and authenticated user which are pretty much required by many components in your application. What would be nice is if we could directly send data to the required component without having to manually drill down the props through every level of the component tree. This is where context comes into picture. Context provides a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level. So we now know why context is needed. In the next video, let's see how to use the context API to solve the problem we just discussed. That is, avoid passing props through every level of the component tree.